This is the new 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 350 formatic SUV. The all-electric Mercedes SUV starts at MSRP 77,900. It has a lithium-ion battery, dual motors, front and rear, total output 215 kilowatts, all-electric range 253 miles with all-season tires, charging time 9.5 hours, has DC fast charging as well, 32 minutes, total length 191 inches, the width with mirrors 84 inches, curb weight 5,635 pounds, the drive configuration, it's a fully variable formatic all-wheel drive system with torque shift performance, 288 horsepower with 564 pound-feet of torque. It's a single-speed transmission because it's an electric Mercedes SUV and it does 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds. Estimated top speed, 130 miles per hour. And the main competitors for this EQE 350 is the BMW iX SUV and the Audi e-tron SUV. Let's go for a drive. Nice. Wow, it feels so good. So here we are in the cabin of the new electric SUV by Mercedes-Benz, the EQE350 Formatic SUV. Feels so good, good right off the bat. I'm still getting used to driving these electric cars. No sound from the engine at all. It's an electric car, but feels good. It does have di different uh, drive configurations or drive modes. Right now it's in the sport mode. And you can see all the colors here, purple. I'm going to engage the climate control system. It's unusually quiet. And 0 to 60 in this EQ is about uh, 6 seconds. Wow, that is quick. It even feels faster than six seconds, to be honest with you guys. Now, let's talk about what's going on here. The interior is a top luxury interior. A lot of premium quality materials, lots of leather and uh, suede material, which is uh, all over the front cabin. And you can see the suede material is all over the upper dash as well as the door panels. And I love the pinstripe LED all across, lets you know it's an electric car. This is a one bow design. This car has 64 colors of ambient lights. Hey Mercedes! assistant would you like to know more about what i can do for you yes okay here we go whenever you want to talk to me you can press the push to talk button on the steering wheel or say hey mercedes i can help you enter destinations search for music and use vehicle functions to name just a few examples when i'm online i can do even more for you like weather forecasts just tell me what you need the animated graphic in the display shows you when I'm listening to you. Here you can see an overview of my functions. Just say help if you would like to see them again later. What can I do for you? Set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. And uh, how cool is that? Just as ambient lights to red. I'm reducing the temperature to minimum. And by the way, if you notice, once the temperature starts to drop, the color changes to blue. I don't know if you can see that. 
the other side is red because the car detects the driver on this side and lowers the temperature to a more comfortable temperature setting this is so nice It's already cool enough which is so nice and um, right here we have this the new MBUX infotainment system this screen is fully touch screen it's about 11.9 inches or 12 inches diagonal and you can adjust this with your finger as well as the trackpad on the steering wheel right here so a lot of uh, high premium tack in this car so the MBUX infotainment system has a number of options it has an EQ menu right here it shows you the range so the car is at 22% or 50 miles of range so the range on this car is about 253 miles of range electric range on a single charge uh, DC fast charging is uh, 32 minutes and uh, can barely tell it's moving now once you start to brake it has a system known as regenerative braking which also charges a car <coughs> adds more power to the uh, to the battery I'm gonna lower the turn off the AC here. It's quite cold. So there's a EQ menu right here. It shows you the charging, the amount of uh, range left for your drive. Also has uh, another menu up here known as range shows you how much electric range you can travel in your car and there's a mega storm brewing up right now so in addition to the EQ menu there's a navigation here with uh, 3d maps you can drive to a charging station there's a smaller EQ icon on the top left corner shows up the previous destinations charging stations parking spaces so let's go to a charging station here you can select the charging point and uh, you can so and again this car has a uh, Navigation with augmented reality, as you can see these blue arrows lets you know how you need to travel. Very useful if you're in a big city like New York or Chicago or any other city for that matter, you need to have augmented reality on your drive. And in addition, there's a head-up display system at the front with the actual map. So not just that you can drive using the map here with augmented reality, the head up display has the actual map in the driver's view. The passenger cannot see the map, but as a driver I can see the map. But hopefully it's coming across the camera, I don't know if you can see the head up display system at the front here. So I'm just going to cancel the navigation and once I do that the head up display or navigation also cancels from the screen from the driver's view. So those are the different options. There's a phone menu here, connect up to two devices. 
also there's a radio menu with very good quality touch pads you want to avoid copyright you want to turn off the music also these uh, there's a media icon here shows you the Bluetooth as well as USB uh, connections Mercedes apps has a Mercedes me app which you can connect on your smartphone it's not yet activated so I'm just gonna cancel that let's go back there's a browser up here you can access the internet there's also a comfort menu this car has seat kinetics which means that the driver receives a side bolstering support from the seat right here and the seats are very comfortable they have leather perforations as well and as I as I pull up on this uh, steep rather gentle slope here the seat also adjusts forward ever so slightly and uh, heat settings allows you to warm up the the seat the base of the seat or the back or the side of the seat another menu here is the off-road menu which means you can see the tire pressure the degree of travel the altitude and so on and then the info menu you can see the vehicle data in terms of uh, acceleration and uh, braking so you can see how hard you are accelerating or braking that's a pretty cool menu and then the settings menu has additional options you can see the vehicle assistance menu driving menu and this car has dynamic select options has a sport mode individual mode sport comfort mode and eco mode obviously for saving power in the car so I'm gonna leave it at on the eco mode and uh, I love the sport the sport design or the sport theme because you see this icon keeps moving left or right based on how you're driving so if you turn left or right you will see the adjustments either left or right it's kind of like a, a weight what do you call it like a weight magnet and uh, obviously this car has a uh, 360 degree camera systems so as I park the car it's gonna give you a, an AR generated image AI generated image of the car surrounding it from from the top and also the side and starts to warn you once you get too close to an object and um, collision avoidance vehicle assistance menu the traffic sign assist attention assist camera and parking so it's going to search for your parking spot and also park the car there's a vehicle menu here offers you the sound experience so when i started the car there were silver waves which spread throughout or the vivid so i can enable the sound experience on the inside or the outside I'm gonna leave it on the inside only and then uh, other cool functions dynamic select options allows you to configure the drive steering or the braking light menus digital lights this car has digital lights right here which allows you to uh, show projections so in certain situations digital light projects additional information onto the road surface spotlight warnings 
So it's going to show you the road warnings on the road and uh, so on and so forth. The system menu shows you the displays, the home screen. I'm going to set it to the zero layer, which is this menu, which overlays the entire map on the screen. And some, some of the cool options inside this EQE. I think I think the only drawback is the range in the car. It's about 253 miles of range. I think if we go to about 300 or 350 miles of range, then we'll compete with the Tesla Model Y. I think that's the next step in the game for Mercedes-Benz is to increase the mileage on these electric cars. But in terms of quality, it's a top-notch interior cabin here. Um, you can see all the window controls right here and uh, power memory seats one two three heated as well as cool seats premium quality material love the suede material here all throughout the cabin all around and uh, i love the print design on the upper dash uh, center section two cup holders and also uh, nfc wireless charging you can set your key down here when you drive and two usb-c ports down here as well and you can close this section and then additional storage this is almost a foot down here and then obviously there's more storage down here for your handbag you have your wife or your girlfriend they're gonna put stuff down here your, your phone and also two additional USB-C ports so it's a good it's a good balance of tech and um, user experience is top-notch in the Mercedes EQE SUV so that's it guys that's a look at the 2023 Mercedes EQE 350 Formatic SUV. Uh, it's a great car, good price. It's about a hundred thousand dollars. I'll leave a link to this car. It's currently available for sale. And a big thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Draper for giving me some time with this new Mercedes EQE SUV. I'll leave the info in the video description. Check out the car. They have a ton of new electric cars, about 30 or 40 new electric cars. I'll be posting more of these videos starting now. And uh, you can find something useful or something to drive for the summer. Until next time, guys, stay positive, but test negative. Peace.